Okay, let's see if we can create a t-shirt design and color inside the lines. First, let's open our template. We'll go into the File menu to open, and let's choose our template document, and then Open. Okay, now let's go into the Window menu to Workspace, and let's choose like in Design. One of the reasons I like this workspace is that it puts the Layers panel in the upper right. And we see we have a student art layer and two template layers. So let's begin by making copies of the template layers. I'll click on the front template layer, and then I'm going to click and drag and drag it down on top of the New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. And when I release the mouse, I get a copy. So I'm going to click on the copy and then click and drag it above the Student Art layer. Not inside, but above the Student Art layer. And now I'm going to click on the Back Template layer and click and drag that down on top of the New Layer button. Release the mouse to make a copy. And I'm going to click on the copy and I'm going to click and drag that layer above the Student Art layer. OK. Now we're going to use these copies in a couple different ways. First of all, I would like the stitches on the t-shirt to be in front of whatever art I draw on the t-shirt. So, in order for that to happen, the stitches must be on a layer above the student art layer in the layers panel. So now it is. And also, we're going to use the shape of the t-shirt to make a clipping mask. And when you create a clipping mask, the stroke on the shape disappears. So we need to keep the original template layers so we can keep that stroke around the t-shirt. So let's start here by unlocking the copies and then get our black arrow, our selection tool, and click and drag around the t-shirt art. And we're going to go into the object menu to ungroup. And let's do that one more time. Object, ungroup. OK, and under the Select menu, let's go to Deselect. And with our black arrow, our Selection tool, let's see if we can select just the t-shirt outline. Yep, there's that shape. And let's go to the other side and see if we can select just the t-shirt outline. And we can select that shape. So we're going to be using those shapes to create the clipping mask uh, later. But for right now, let's go ahead and go back and lock those two layers. OK, and now let's select the student art layer. Always choose the layer first before you start creating art so that you know your art's on the correct layer. And we'll just go get the Rectangle tool. And we're going to click and drag with the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle around the t-shirt. Let's go over here to the Swatches panel and first make sure that the Fill indicator is in the front, which it is. And I'm going to click on a color swatch and fill that rectangle with a color. Now let's go into the Select menu to deselect. And I'd like to put additional art on the t-shirt using the paintbrush tool. So I'm going to select the paintbrush tool and first come over here to the stroke panel and let's increase the weight. Let's increase the weight to four point. Okay. And then let's go up here to the brushes panel. Click and open the brushes panel. We see right now we have no brush styles, but we can get one. In the lower left hand corner of the brushes panel, let's click on brush libraries menu. And let's choose uh, Artistic, Artistic Chalk Charcoal Pencil. OK, now we have that library open. And I'm going to click on the third brush style. And that adds it to our brushes panel. So now I can close the library. OK, and I have that brush style selected in the brushes panel. So when I draw with the paintbrush, that'll be the style. So I'm going to go over here to the art. And I'm just going to click and drag using the paintbrush tool in order to add more art. Now the style from the brushes panel is being applied to the stroke when I click and drag with the brushes with the paintbrush tool. So we're just adding some more art here. Okay. Now let's get our black arrow selection tool and I'm going to click and drag around that art and I want to make a copy. So first I'll hold down the Option key or Alt key. Then I'm going to click with the mouse and add the Shift key and drag to the right. And release the mouse. OK. So holding down the Option key or Alt key uh, makes a copy. 
and adding the shift key constrains it to a horizontal movement when you drag to the right. So let's go into the select menu and deselect. We're going to start uh, by making a uh, clipping mask on the left side here. So first we'll select all the art that we've created and now we need to select the shape of the t-shirt. So I'm going to go up here to the layers panel and I'm going to unlock the front template copy and I'm going to hold down the shift key and see if I can select the outline around the t-shirt. Hold down the shift key. Okay, so now I've added the outline of the t-shirt to the selection of the art, other artwork. And in order to make a clipping mask, the shape that you're going to use for the mask must be in front of all the other art. And it is. If we look at our layers panel, we see that the front template is above the student art layer. So now I'm going to go into the object menu to clipping mask, and I'm going to choose make. There we go. Now the art inside the mask is revealed, and the art outside the mask is hidden. And let's do the same thing on the other side. And with my black arrow selection tool, I'm going to click and drag around that art. Okay. And I'm going to go unlock the back template copy layer and hold down the shift key and see if I can add the outline of the t-shirt and select it. Yep. Now I've got the outline selected uh, and the shape we're using for the clipping mask is in front of um, all the other art, so that'll be the shape that's used for the mask. And we're going to go under the object menu once again to clipping mask and make. Okay, and there you go.